everyone. Today we are going to cover Baruch's algorithm. So Baruch's algorithm is needed uh, to find the minimum spanning tree in a graph. Yeah, so first of all, we need to understand, understand what minimum spanning tree is. So minimum spanning tree is a subset of the edges of a connected graph. So it has to be edge weighted that connects all vertices together without any cycles and with minimum possible total edge of weight. So uh, let's see what minimum spanning tree can be like in this example. So I think we need to take, I think we need to take this edge, uh, this edge as well. then I think we need to take this one. So we cannot take this edge since it's going to create a cycle. Okay, next edge, edge is this one, and finally this one. So, so we can see that the sum of all edges that we took is, is like one plus two plus three plus four plus seven, and which is 17. So actually this is a uh, smallest possible like sum which we can achieve by connecting all nodes together. Yeah, which is actually minimum spanning tree. Once you know what minimum spanning tree is, shortly MST, now uh, I can explain how Baruch's, Baruch's algorithm works. So initially we have all nodes like disconnected. And uh, this algorithm we will be doing like iterations. And on each iteration we will be connecting like nodes together that are from different components. Uh, yeah. So so let's say that initially we have, yeah, okay, let's say that we initially we have uh, n components. So n is number of nodes, okay? So let me just select them. Okay, so yeah, keep in mind that initially they are all disconnected. So, and we will be trying to connect new edges. Okay, so okay, so let me explain how this works. Mm -hmm. So for each component or node, we we want to choose the uh, smallest or cheapest edge that goes to the another component. So for example, for node zero is four, so this edge is four. So let's just select this node. So we don't connect this nodes together, we just select this edge. So for for node number one, this edge is four, uh, with eight, uh, with weight four. For node two, this edge is two. For, uh, for node three, this edge is seven. For node four, this edge is nine. For node five, this edge is two. For, uh, I think for node six, this edge is one, right? So because we choose uh, cheapest edge that go to the another, that is connected to the another uh, component. So for node seven, this edge is seven. Sorry, oh, sorry, not seven, uh, it's one, right? Because one is cheapest, uh, one is, uh, no, uh, sorry, H1 is like cheapest one that is connected to seven. Okay, and uh, I think I did everything correctly. Yeah, so let's just check it, check it quickly. So for node zero, uh, node zero is connected with, with H4, node one is connected with H4 as well. 
uh, node 2 is connected with edge 2, node 3 is connected with edge 7, node 4 is connected with edge 9, right? So it's, I think it's okay. So node, two, node 5 can, uh, connected is, is connected with edge 2, and node 6 is connected with edge 1. Okay, I think everything is fine. Okay, so so once we so once we have found such edges, so now we want to connect uh, this component with this slab of edges. So let's connect them together. Okay, so we yeah so and uh, and it's guaranteed that these edges are going to be in minimum spanning tree. So so we need to add this weights to the answer so yeah so we do okay so we add so we add four to the answer because we uh, we will add this edge uh, we need to add one we need to add two we need to add this two we need to add this seven, and then we need to uh, to add this nine. Okay, so this was like first iteration. Okay, so now once we add this, uh, we added these edges to the answer. We want to connect. Uh, we want to connect these edges together. Okay, so now we are connecting connecting them. But uh, keep in mind that before we connect these edges, uh, we need to ensure that these edges uh, don't create a cycle. Okay, so we add them together. Okay, so now we are done with first iteration. Now we need to do the second iteration. So so we are doing this algorithm while uh, here all nodes are not connected okay sorry like till they are connected so yeah finally we want we we will stop when this all nodes connected okay so now for for the second iteration so for example for example for uh, for this component, uh, cheapest no, uh, cheapest edge that goes to the another component is this eight and this eight. So actually, we can choose like either one. So let's take this one. Okay. Okay. So for example, for uh, for this component, right? So this is like a component. Uh, I guess I guess I think that cheapest edge that goes. Uh, that is connected to the other component is is this one. So this is like chips edge. Okay, so let's select this edge. Okay. And uh, let's do the same thing for for this component. Okay, I think here uh, cheapest edge that goes to the another component is four as well. Yeah, so we just uh, choose, so we just select this edge. Okay, so now we add to the answer these uh, edges, like the weight of these edges. So it will be eight plus four. Okay, then we connect these uh, edges or components. Okay. So yeah, and we stop since now uh, all nodes are connected. Okay, and and the sum and finally the sum of all like these edges that we took uh, is going to be the weight of minimum spanning tree. Okay, great, cool. Hmm. Uh, okay, so now about time and legacy. So if you have if we have, uh, 
Okay, let me use another color. So if we have n nodes, so where n, uh, where n is number of nodes, yeah, if we have n nodes, n is a uh, is number of nodes, number of nodes, and uh, m is a number of edges. So this algorithm is going to work in of O of M times log of N. Okay, now let me explain why this algorithm works in such uh, in such time. So actually we can notice that we have uh, we might have at most log of n iterations. Because on each, on each iteration, number of components become, becomes uh, two times smaller. And thus, we have at most log of n iterations. And uh, for each iteration, we need to iterate through each edge, which is actually like m. So thus, if time complexity is m uh, times log of n. Now uh, we've got a solution for a very standard problem uh, to find MST. Yeah, so actually I will put the link for this problem in the description below. Okay, so we are given n nodes and m edges. So I will use a struct to store uh, data about edges. Uh, we have up to that many edges. Also, I uh, will store. Uh, I will use a unified algorithm to check uh, if a certain edge, if a certain edge doesn't create a cycle. So actually here we can uh, unify and use some heuristics, but I won't use them. So yeah, you can use heuristics to make it faster, but I think uh, it's sufficient. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's sufficient to use, not to use heuristics. Okay. Okay, and yeah, and let's say that initially number of components we have, um, yeah, number of components, yeah, let me just write number of CMP is n. So, and we will be doing this algorithm while number of components is uh, greater than one, like while this number is more than one. Okay. Okay, and, um, for each iteration, for, for each component, we just want to find uh, cheapest edge that goes, uh, that is connected to the other component. So let's do that. So first of all, we need to check uh, if, if this edge uh, doesn't create a cycle. So if actually uh, it's, a, it's an edge that is connected to nodes that are from the same components, so we will just do continue. Okay. Okay, let's say that uh, also we have, we, we need to have mean edge. Okay, so let's say it's initial something like infinity or something. Yeah, it will be minus one, negative one. Yeah, let's do that for, for each uh, for each node, for each component. Okay.
Now I will just short, shortly explain what I do in my code. So, as I mentioned before, I need a structure to store datable edges. Also, uh, I need to use unifying algorithm to check if two nodes uh, or edge doesn't create a cycle. So, for this purpose, I need an array for parents, and uh, also I need for each component, I need to store minimum outgoing edge. So I will store an index of such edge uh, in this array. Then I just here store all edges, and this function needs to find the uh, root of a certain component. So it's more about a uh, unified algorithm. So this function uh, tries to merge two components. And if they are, uh, yeah, so first of all, it takes two nodes and then it tries to connect these two components, components of these two nodes. But if these nodes, two nodes are from the same component, it just returns zero. Otherwise, it returns one and connects these two components. So here I just initialize DSU. Okay, here I just read the input, uh, initialize DSU. Okay, I see that number of components is n. So this variable is in the form for the sum of all wages, uh, all, of all weights that we take into uh, this uh, MST, sorry. And uh, I process this algorithm, like Burke's algorithm, while number of components is uh, bigger than one. So for each uh, component, I initially say that, initially that there is no such minimum or cheapest edge. And uh, then I will iterate through each edge and just find such uh, chips edge for each component. Uh, yeah, so if this node, uh, if these two nodes are already in the same component, so I just do continue. Otherwise, I take a root of first component, root of second component, and for each component, I try to, uh, to take um, this edge. And yeah, if it's minimum or if it's cheapest. Okay, then I iterate through each component and uh, I, I say if this edge, like if there is an edge for this component, I try to merge uh, these two vertices that are connected by this edge. And if I can merge them, I add this weight to the answer and I decrease a, a number of components by one. Okay, I think it's accepted. Cool. So this is the end of the first part of this video. And the next part I will be covering this problem, which can be solved with Borosky algorithm and which is quite advanced. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. I would really appreciate some feedback and uh, suggestions for the next videos. So please make sure to subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video below. Bye-bye.